Okay, I'm just making this quick little snippet here before, just to make it clear to one of the students who is insisting that I've got this answer wrong. I mean, of course, I make mistakes, and you know, I'm a human being, and I do make mistakes, of course, and sometimes I always, I always generally check the mark scheme and make sure that I don't leave the mistakes in and if somebody points it out I will definitely correct it but this is not a mistake and the guy keeps insisting that it is a mistake all right so I want to explain why it's not a mistake the question says find a general solution find a general solution to the differential equation it doesn't say find the general solution or doesn't say find the general solution in this form where they've given you a particular form that you have to write it in when you solve a general when you solve a differential equation you have to get rid of the dy dx by, you know, basically um, differentiating both sides with respect, sorry, integrating both sides with respect to this, it says dx underneath, you write with dx. And then you separate the variables as I did. And the way you can separate the variables is different, as you wish. Okay, I got rid of the, um, the, the negative 4 and I tried to, I had to make it the same as the way it looked before so we could use that particular result that we had from before to make it easy for us as I explain in the video if you see, if you actually watch the video but in the end I ended up with this answer now this answer is exactly the same as these two answers that they mentioned they've given two alternative ways but there's other answers that you can have it's a general solution that have to that the numbers don't have to be like this for example if I was so I mean the way I've expressed my answer I have basically expressed it in such a way that there is no uh, denominator and no factor in the denominator so I've got rid of the factors in the denominator. So for example here, how do you get rid of the factors in the denominator? You multiply both sides by the LCM of the denominator. So if I multiply both sides of this by, for example, negative 4. So if I multiply both sides of this equation, you've got minus and minus, that's going to give you plus, right? Because they're both minus on both sides. So that's why I don't have a minus and a minus. That's a, you know, and also I, what I've done is I've, I've taken minus 4 and multiplied it by this side. And I've taken the, and I've the plus c I put at the end anyway you don't put it in the beginning. Um, you multiply this side by minus four. What happens? Okay, it becomes positive. The four and the four cancel. You're left with three over one plus two lin y all squared equals minus and minus cancel out. The four and two cancel out. You're left with two times cosine of two x. It's exactly the same as what I've written. Just put the plus c at the end. That's all. Okay, and the other form they've written, of course, it's going to be the same as well. What's the LCM of the denominators here? Well, it's 24. So if I multiply negative 24 with this side, and if I multiply negative 24 with this side, okay, in fact, it's not even 24, it's, it's 12. That's going to make it too big. And then it'll, it'll still cancel out, but 4 and 6, 12, of course. If I multiply minus 12 with this side, and I multiply minus 12 with this side, put the C in at the end, okay, what's going to happen? They cancel, the, that becomes plus you're left with 3, okay, over 1 plus 2 lin y squared equals, and the minus and minus cancel, you're left with 2 cosine 2x, two and then you add 2, exactly the same as what I got. All right, so there's no difference between these two answers and my answer. I've just written in such a way that there's no numbers in the denominator, and like there's not a minus sign on both sides. All right, it's exactly the same. Okay, so I'm just uploading this, and I'll, I'll delete it after a little while, just to uh, make clear, once that student please responds to, see, to say that they understand, I want you to understand that there's not a mistake here. It's perfectly fine to write your answer in this way. As long as they simplify to give you the same thing, they're the same. All right? And there's plus C, not two. Okay, so please, um, you know, uh, take note of that. You know, you have to know how to read a mark scheme properly. A lot of students, they don't know how to read mark schemes. And, um, you know, that's a bit of a, a problem sometimes. They think it has to be exactly the same. But sometimes anything that's equivalent to that is going to be the same, especially in a question like this where it says a general solution. If you said find the general solution in the particular form where they say y equals ax plus whatever, then yes, you have to do it in a particular form that they, they asked you to. But here it says a general solution means you get rid of the dy dx. Okay, so I hope that's clear. Thank you.